God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, June 16th. Today's devotional, like yesterday's, is based on Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the, God, the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by C. Gray Nors Norsworthy. This proclamation of the universality of God's sovereign rule invites encounters with those of other faiths. Ecumenical and interfaith dialogues continue to be a growing need in our world. As the glo global community becomes a reality through technology and other means, how Christians relate to those of other faiths will be an ongoing issue. And we are left with this to ponder. What can we use as a symbol or symbols of our covenant together as a church community? Let us pray. I declare your glory among the nations, your works are marvelous among all the peoples. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy. Keep practicing social distancing, keep washing your hands, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.